Football, football, football. It's September, so why in the world would I utter any other F words out of my mouth? We'll dive right in like we always do with the high school teams, folks. Central Lake New Wall. We're out of town, but there was still plenty of action to be had in the area. We'll show it to you. Then it's onto the college ranks as the Rams finally got to play a home game. Stick around for a while and see how they did. Then we reveal our player of the week. Now, sit back and relax. It's time for season one. KLSD Studios, this is your KLSD Season Pass. Here's your host, Andrew Nipson. The Central Bobcats faced the grim reality coming into this past week of not having Maverick McIver under center. But as the old saying goes, the show must go on. Episode 3 of the Central season aired this past Friday night in Cedar Park, but by no means was it a show to remember. The Central Bobcats minus McIver saw their regular season winning streak of 26 games come to an end last Friday at the hands of the Cedar Park Timberwolves. Sophomore QB Malachi Brown and crew struggled to get anything going on the offensive end as the Cats only accumulated 49 total yards in the first half, while the Central defense allowed the Timberwolves to run to a 28-6 halftime lead. The guys were able to get things going in the second half, but it wasn't nearly enough to climb out of the giant hole they dug for themselves. Next up for the Cats, the homecoming game against El Paso Pebble Hills at San Angelo Stadium. The effort the kids and the coaches have put in, you know, it's, it's been a while, so, you know, and these kids work so hard, you know, and, and you know, it's good to see that they, they got a W. The kids always show up excited, but they, they brought a little more, more excitement to the practice this week, which, which is good. If you work hard, you're going to get paid, you know, and, and uh, yeah, you, you'd never want to be satisfied, you know, and that's going to get us to the next victory. The so spirits this past week were very high for the Lakeview Chiefs after obtaining their first win in two years. Now, the Chiefs have to move forward. They found themselves on the road facing some difficult competition, similar to the Cats. The Chiefs had a lot of trouble in the opening half. Before they knew it, the Blue and White found themselves staring at a 20-0 deficit before the first quarter was even over with. Lakeview is now 1-2 and two on the young season. They will be on the road again next week as they travel to Fort Stockton to take on the Panthers, who are 3-0. and oh. Central lost. Lakeview lost. Please tell me Wall won. Well, they got the closest out of the Big 3 team. Despite falling behind 21 points, heading to the final corner, the Wall Hawks were able to hit the end zone three times in a span of eight minutes. The last of these touchdowns brought them within a point of Midland Christian. That is when the Hawks, though, decided to ride that wave of momentum to a two-point conversion attempt to take the lead. But they couldn't find Pater to get the dramatic victory. Wall falls to 0-2 by the slimmest of margins, 35-34. It's the homecoming game for the TLCA Eagles. Usually for this game, you schedule a cupcake, a cupcake opponent, but not the Eagles. They welcomed in the 2-0 Cross Plains Buffaloes and TLCA's defense shining early. But first, look at those black unis looking sharp. Let's look at this. Mr. Romero dives to pick off Cross Plains. Caleb Hernandez in business. Yes, but the Buffaloes would get on the board first. Hernandez to Theron Allen. And that would be a touchdown, 7 nothing Cross Plains, as a guy from Cross Plains crosses the plane of the goal line. Ha-ha. Later in the first, J.R. Wilson takes the pitch and pushes his way over for a first down. But Cross Plains would score shortly after that to make it 14-0. TCL gets, TCLA, wow, TLCA gets blanked 40 nothing. Two wins and no losses to start the season. It doesn't get much better than that for the Ballinger Bearcats. Oh, wait, yes, it does. How about a 3 0 start to the season? That's what they tried to do on Friday against fellow undefeated team Colorado City. Now, after a five minute downpour, how appropriate it was that we got a rainbow courtesy of Colorado City's Marcus Monroe to Rita Harris. And he scampers in for a 32 yard touchdown, 7 0 Wolves. Ensuing kickoff. Well, as you see, it's a short one. Cody Harrell takes advantage, comes up, fields it, and here he goes to the left. Oh, he's got something going, and he's into Colorado City territory. But later in the drive, Edgar Nunez fakes the hands off, keeps it himself, and just before he hits the ground, look what happens. The ball. It leaves his hands, goes right into the waiting ones of Colorado City's Bubba Williams, and he turns it into six. 14 all Wolves. Ballinger now got on the board eventually in the game, and then some. Ballinger, though, falls 42 to 34. Let's take a look at some more 3A stuff. 
A score on your television screen. Mason punchers of 2 way. They just keep on doing it. 27 0. Blanking Sonora. That's extremely difficult to do. Grape Creek got their first win of the season. Congrats to the Eagles, 14-13. And Lano defeated Brady, 47-28. Bulldogs, 1-2. and two. Time for some commercials. But when we come back, we continue week three of high school football as we dip down the 2A and six-man level. It's the free cash event at your Ashley Home Store. Come in today and claim your free iPad and free cash with your purchase. Come on in for more details on how to get $500 plus a free iPad. Only at Ashley Home Store. When disaster strikes, it can leave you feeling helpless, wondering what to do next. If your home or business has been damaged by fire or water, the first thing to do is call the experts at Service Master by Texas Best. We have the experience and know-how to take your home or business from disaster to done. And if your tile or carpet is dark and dingy, Texas Best can restore that too, bringing back a clean you never thought possible. When it comes to water damage restoration, Texas Best is Texas Best. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. Your Buick doesn't have a roof rack. This is my Buick. How are we going to fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Did you? Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. Get 16% below MSRP on most Encore models. That's nearly 4,200 below MSRP on this Encore Preferred. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo. When you want options, call Black Plumbing. For instance, on slab leaks, Black Plumbing can saw cut, reroute, or e-pipe restoration. And you get to choose the option that best suits your needs. For the best plumbing service, don't limit your options. Call Black Plumbing or blackplumbing.com. Help is on the way. The pros who know are ready to go. Call on Black Plumbing. Help is on the way. It's the free cash event at your Ashley Home Store. Come in today and claim your free iPad and free cash with your purchase. Come on in for more details on how to get $500 plus a free iPad. Only at Ashley Home Store. The Cougars of Cristobal tasted victory for the first time last week. And if you've ever played a sport, you know once you get that taste in your mouth, that feeling in your bones, you do whatever it takes to get it all flooding back. Cristobal hosting Van Horn trying to keep it going. Yes, opening kickoff. Here it is, Clayton Edmonston. Edmonston, yes sir, takes it back. And guess what? He turns it into points. The Cougars will score on the two-point conversion as well. And they're up eight to nothing. My goodness. Now, same score later in the first quarter. Braden Wilcox feels the high snap. Makes a nice run for the first down for the Cougars, albeit a long one. And Cristobal, ha ha, hangs on. 30 to 28. Menard on the road taking on Ira Ann. Our buddies out there got us this footage. And Ira Ann in control of this one. Mario DeLuna with the QB keeper. And he could go all the way. Oh, not bad. And the Braves fans, of course, when you're the home team, you have to love it. When your team does it. Next, Iran possession. De Luna again on the QB keeper. Iran wins 25 14. Menard is 1 and 2. El Dorado 30 to 19. They win once again. Congrats. The Eagles looking good. The Miles Bulldogs suffered their first defeat of the season at the hands of the Roscoe Plowboys for 41 29. Erion County. Still sniffing around for a win. 48 to 7, that final score against the Baird Bears. San Saba took it to Junction. Junction also still looking for the first win of the season. And Ozona, same deal, but they've had some extremely difficult competition, as you see. Ozona's a 2A, Reagan County's a 3A. It's comforting, though, to a team to only be able to win, not only win, but in a variety of ways. In the first two weeks, Sterling City notched a comeback victory over Bastrop Tribe and a shutout win over Buena Vista. Next up for the Eagles was Hermley. The Cardinals, they didn't give up a point in week two either. In the first quarter where we begin, no score. Hermley's pass is tipped and picked off, oh my, by Sterling City's Number 10, Wyatt Cisco, and he returns it back for the easy pick six. Made conversion makes it 8-0 Eagles. Second quarter, same score, Wyatt Cisco. Watch him scramble around and eventually down the sideline. But 
Watch out for that tree. Oh, oh, Bedore, he popped right back up because he's a football player. A few plays later, Hudson Cox, touchdown pass. Quentin McCullen, 16-0, Sterling City. The Eagles win again, 46-24. Now it's another great team in six-man. The Robert Lee Steers. Look at our chillers pumping up the crowd. I think it worked because of these. What you see here, first quarter, 6-0, Robert Lee. Casey Skipworth takes the handoff and goes untouched into the end zone. Then the Steers, well, they just kept on rolling. Manny Gamboa, here he is, throws to... Daniel Mendoza, another steer touchdown. And looking good in those all orange unis, by the way. Now, how about some Robert Lee defense? We looked at the O. How about some D? Bubba Bohannon picks off the pass. Yes, sir. Robert Lee, mercy rules Santa Ana 60 to nothing. Very best. Hosting Westbrook, very best. Just they just want to get in the win column. Late first quarter, no score. Westbrook's Noah King. Look at this pass. Aha! The big man goes up and gets it. Elisha Stark, 6-0 Westbrook. Then the second quarter, King to his running back Caleb Matos. Look at him slipping and sliding and woo, going inside and then into the end zone. 14 nothing Wildcats. Well, later in the second quarter, Hayden Barnes throws it and watch this flutter ball tipped. Oh, what a job concentrating by Justin Moreno. That would be a touchdown for very best, but not much after that, as you see, Westbrook wins 48 13. Water Valley, they lost 30 to 46 to the Zephyr Bulldogs, and Bronx suffered their first defeat of the season at the hands of Roscoe Highland 54 to 6. Some more six man scores. Paint Rock still has not found a win yet. 0 oh, 3 on the young season, 62 to 6 against Abilene Christian Academy. Eden. Hey, look, they won. 58-32. Congrats to the Bulldogs. One more score that I promised we're done. Blackwell still undefeated. 58-12. They're actually riding a 13-game regular season winning streak. Look at that. Well, folks, that does it for the high school football scene. When we come back, we see how Angelo State football dealt with the opening of Lone Star Conference play. It's the free cash event at your Ashley Home Store. Come in today and claim your free iPad and free cash with your purchase. Come on in for more details on how to get $500 plus a free iPad. Only at Ashley Home Store. From the creators of Dr. Pepper comes the story of a town where every day is Saturday and everyone is a fan. And this fall comes the most dramatic season I can feel it of their lives. What is it? New neighbor sheriff. We're Batman. <laughs> Everyone wants that trophy. Are you kidding me? No! Dr. Pepper, the official drink of Fansville, kicking off this fall. You know that feeling you get when you hit 10,000 steps on your Fitbit? Apparently, that's a pretty good feeling. That's the same feeling you get when you get the best price, or what we call the Bass Price. Get a new 2018 Nissan Sentra S, just $13.9 or only $220 a month. Or a new 2018 Rogue S, just $249 a month. The best price is the Bass Price. Jim Bass Cars and Trucks, Houston Hart Garden Road, or 24-7 at BassBucks.com. Here to Sister Cell, there's one concept we'd like you to understand. Flat rate versus percentage commissions. Now, percentage commission seems like the attractive option, but the single-digit number skews the idea of its value, and it leads people to believe they're getting the better deal. Simply put, percentage commissions don't benefit sellers. Stop by AssistantAngelo.com to see how flat-rate, full-service real estate can save you thousands from selling your home. Assist to sell. Your wallet can tell. It's the free cash event at your Ashley Home Store. Come in today and claim your free iPad and free cash with your purchase. Come on in for more details on how to get $500 plus a free iPad. Only at Ashley Home Store. After 10 months of waiting, Angelo State football fans... Finally, get to see their boys play at LeGrand Stadium, a first community credit union field. There you go. I said it. Didn't matter that it was a dark, wet, and dreary day. The ASU faithful still showed up and showed out. And here comes Angelo State. Hello, 
first quarter begin. Let's go. 10-7 ASU. Julio De La Garza playing up for a field goal for Kingsville. No, bad snap. Leads to a shot. The end zone. Good heads up play by K. Dial. Knocks it down. And away. Second quarter now. Coy Detmer pass to Tyler Wilson. Look at it go. Oh, and he toe taps it in. And the Hogs have a 14 to 10 lead. Then with 33 seconds left in the first half, ASU Spencer Gilbert. Watch him take the pitch and into the end zone. Oh, he loses his helmet, but thankfully not the ball. 17-14, Rams on top. 19 seconds left. Still in the first half, Donovan Jackson. Watch this. Picks off Detmer. That's his second pick in as many games. That will lead to an ASU field goal to make it 20-14. to Rams going into the halftime break. And ASU wins 30-14. to Perfect start to conference play, if I don't say so myself. From a statistical standpoint, well, it wasn't too pretty, just like the weather was out there. Obviously, when it's as gross as it was passing, you're not going to get it done, really, as you see. Not even Kingsville could eclipse the 100-yard mark. ASU barely got it there. Charlie Rothram even went over in the passing department. Rushing yards, though, that is where ASU got it done. Individually, Tyrese Nathan, rushing-wise, 25 carries, 116 yards. He just keeps on keeping on. Payne Solon, 7 of 18. Like I said, not the best numbers when you have those types of conditions outside. And look at the defense. Grant Oshenbeck, 15 tackles and 3.5 tackles for loss and even a sack in there. Good on you, sir. Now, how about we look at some more Lone Star Conference football scores because we want to keep tabs on all those fun teams out there. The number Number one team in the nation in the preseason favorite to win the conference, Texas, Texas A&M Commerce Lions, beat Eastern New Mexico out in New Mexico, 21 to 11. Some more scores. Number seven, Midwestern State keeps impressing, defeating UTPB in Odessa, 43 to 21. And Tarleton State, they're off to a hot start too, 44 to 7 over WT. Now, to the ladies of the ASU sports, the volleyball bells are sitting just outside the top 25, which is cool and everything. What's more important is that they're at the very top of the Lone Star Conference. But after their first game of the week, there was a new queen of the castle. And they are the Tarleton State Texans. Wisdom Gym in Stephenville is always a difficult place to play. Bells drop their first conference match of the season in four sets. Then ASU Volleyball pulled out a thrilling LSC victory in Portales on Friday night to improve to 10-4. and four. They had a quick turnaround, though, facing West Texas a and Canyon yesterday. Here we go. First set. ASU up by nine, no more. Only 20 to 12 now in the first set. And then next point, Bailey Drum smacks a hit, middle of the court. Oh, Lady Buffs can't get to it. ASU 21 12. Lady Buffs Julie Borchel with a big old hit. Look at it there. But didn't matter. ASU wins in four sets. ASU 4 in 1 in Lone Star Conference play. And as I mentioned before, Tarleton State is the queen of the castle as we look at the LSC standings. There they are. 11 and 2 overall, 5 and 0. Oh, perfect so far in LC play are those Tarleton State Texans. Moving right along, you see number 23 Commerce at the 5 spot. And the, uh, the, yeah, you know what, let's skip the next couple of parts of LSC because ASU's there. We don't want to look at those other teams. Now, the Angela State soccer team had a rough go of it in Colorado, losing both of their road games up in the Centennial State. Luckily, though, they're at home for the next two weeks. Let's see how week one went. Look at that. A lot of goals scored. Tied up at four piece after regulation. Two overtime periods later, no one could get the ninth goal of the game, and it ended as a tie. Then today, the Bells got another chance to hit the win column. East Central, the opponent. ASU Soccer Complex is site. Here we go, 56 minutes. Oh, are the orange clad ladies going to score on ASU after it's tied 1 1? No. Nice save by the freshman goalkeeper, Kira Miller. Then 63rd minute corner kick for ASU. Trinity Scott, yes, please. No. Oh, just barely missed there. Oh. Now, another golden opportunity coming up in the 85th minute. Another corner kick from the same side. Scott, another opportunity, but no, the header is wide. She can't believe it. But as luck would have it, Scott would get her second goal of the game in the first 20 seconds of overtime. She netted the winning goal in the blink of an eye so much, even I missed it. Bells, get it done. Two to one.